And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we are hoping to test out this kill box. We're just waiting for Randy to send us some nice, warm, squishy targets and we can hopefully send them to there and see if we can't do some bulk recruitment. But in the meantime, there's a bunch of stuff that needs taken care of. Uh, we massacred some caribou on the side. Well, that was after the wargs. So there's been a lot of animals showing up on our doorsteps. Also a bunch of bugs. I think that was a quest. Some mechanoids, a whole bunch of things. But today we're about to take advantage of sensory mechanites. Now, sensory mechanites are generally a bad thing. They increase pain and restful rate, so they, they get tired quickly and they hurt all the time. But it increases their manip manipulation as well and their sight and a few other things. And this actually is ad advantageous in some ways. For example, if you look down here, I have uh, the rim hood installed just to make it easier. You can see the med medical surgery success chance of Lee is an astonishing 91% despite only having a 7 in medical. Uh, to put that in perspective, say, the Schweitzer over here, they also have a 7 in medical, but they've only got a 75% surgery success chance. Uh, the reason lee has got such a high chance is because those mechanites are helping them out intensely. So that gets their surgery all the way up to 91%. And we're about to perform a bit of an operation on Rachel Matt over here. They lost their arm when we picked them up. Well, okay, we shot their arm off. But we did pick up a drill arm God, about an episode or two ago. I completely forgot about it. And we can install that drill arm on them because, well, they do have mining as a trait and we can make them a good miner, so why not do it? So we're going to have Lee prioritize operating on Rachel here. Now, we could get a better doctor. We do have Ortec. Ortec has a 90% surgery success chance as well. Uh, that's because their medical's at 10. But, yeah, they're already going to be able to do that later on. Right now, Lee is only good for this until the mechanites wear off. So getting a little bit of surgery six, uh, chance in here will actually up her medical skill. Probably take her up to, mm, if not level 8, it'll get them pretty damn close. One thing I should point out, even though this says they have a 91% success chance, it's actually better than that. If we check out the bed, it has a multiplier effect. So the surgery success chance is one, oh, 108%. No, that's a little bit misleading. Uh, someone needs to come in here and clean this room immediately. Yeah, the room's a little bit dirty at the moment. That's why the surgery success chance has dipped. This should be about 110%. And the way surgery success chance works is as follows. If you have 110% success chance from the bed, it actually acts as a multiplier to the skill of the surgeon. So you take this 91% and you multiply it by 1.1, which gives you about 100% chance. But you can't ever go above 98, so eh, that's just the way it is. Anyway, let's uh, fast forward this and hope they don't botch it. Don't botch it. Boom. Rachel is now perfectly capable. They've got their arm up and running and okay, they've got a few other injuries going on, but those can be fixed. And let's put them back on the normal medicine. As well as that, we do have a mining skill trainer around here somewhere. We picked him up ages ago and I never thought of someone to use it on. But I'm thinking we'll give them that miner, mining trainer when they wake up and that will make them an even better miner, like a miner that drill arm. Oh, would you look at that? A wonderful quest has shown up. This quest is absolutely amazing. <laughs> We'd have to take care of seven buffaloes for 24 days, and all we'd have to deal with would be 21 centipedes. Three times. So, you know, 63 centipedes. Nope. Nope. No. I, I, I think... I think no. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that that's a big nope. Just a huge, giant nope on that front. No way. Okay, let, let's hope we get some organic soon, though. I really do want to test out this kill box. Which reminds me, I need to get some do doors installed here. I'm thinking if they try and break out of here once they they break, they might actually go through these doors. So I'd like to double layer this just so we don't lose all the heat. We need to keep this at a certain temperature to keep it effective. One of the researches we did on the side was psychoid viewing. Ah, psychoid viewing. Psychoid viewing. Psychoid brewing. Okay, that's really tricky to pronounce. Anyway, we've got that out of the way with, and next up I'm thinking we are going straight for the good stuff. That is going to get us some drugs, which should hopefully keep us from having so many mental breaks. They're quite persistent at the moment. The second thing we're going to want to take care of is deep drilling. Deep drilling gets us rocks, as in rocks we can just drill out of the ground, rock chunks, to make more marble and granite. Long term, this is very useful also, as well as that once you get to a point where the rocks are far enough away, it's just easier to drill them up out of the ground than it is to walk all the way across the map and get them. So we're definitely going to get that. Next up after that will be ground penetrating scanner, which will allow us to scan for mineral deposits below the surface, which should get us, well, an almost infinite amount of steel. Then after that, we're going to go with the long range mineral scanner. That will allow us to find resource nodes out on the map that we have to go harvest. It's a little bit riskier, but it will basically take care of all our component problems forever. And that is generally what we're going to be going for. After that, we'll backfill a few techs like, uh, oh, Devil Strand, we're definitely going to want that. Also, I think we want to brew some beer. Why not? We're going to need lots of drugs to keep people happy, so beer seems like a good choice. All right, let's, uh, let's hope some people show up soon to test out our recruitment kill box. And we have a new recruit in 
Nag, who immediately needs a new name. Say hello to our 15th recruit, Alucard, 1001. All right, Alucard, you are an undergrounder, slothful, and the jogger. Now, the jogging and undergrounder are very useful. Slothful, less so. Minus 35% at global work speed. I'm thinking medical and social is going to be your mains, and maybe plants after that if there's nothing else to do. And because at least medical and social aren't too badly affected by slow, uh, slow speeds. Firefighting and capable... Yeah, that's... yeah. It, surprised you don't have more of those. Anyway, we do need to produce more clothing. I've got to Schweitzer and they're going to become our secondary crafter. Namely because they're pretty decent and we've got people to fill in for all of the other possible things they could be doing. So it's time to produce a bunch of clothing. We're going to need dusters, button-down shirts, pants, all of those, while Liti is busy making guns. We need lots and lots of guns. Oh, joy of joys, we've actually had some good luck. An exotics goods trader is passing by. We're going to have Pika immediately go and talk to them because Pika is our number one trade price improvement person. Oop, no, wrong one, sorry. Pika. So Pika will take care of that. They've got the best trade price improvement. Let's see what we can purchase off them. Ooh, jump packs. They do have lots of interesting things here we would like to get our hands on. For example, they have a skill trainer of medical, two of them, which, yes, that will allow us to get us a bunch of our people up to surgery level. We need people at level 10 to be able to do confident surgeries. Well, before we get medical beds, anyway. Tech print for jump packs, yes, thank you, an insanity lance and a telescope. However, this is going to cost us 5,972 silver, which we can't afford. But we did pick up that insect jelly, and I just want to point out how valuable it is, because that minus 5,972 5, suddenly becomes... 10 grand in profit when we sell it. That's how much the insect jelly is worth. They literally cannot afford to buy our insect jelly. We have that much of it. Yes, that's that's way too much. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just sell them as much as sell as much as we can and take the silver. Yeah, that's that's fine. That'll leave us with a bunch of insect jelly we're going to have to cart around anyway. And thank you. Dear Lord. Okay, bring those all inside immediately. We're going to want to start handing those out. Especially the medical trainers. Who needs them? Rachel Matt is now beastly at mining. This is... Yeah, they went up to level 10 mining with the, the skill trainer, and now they're just plowing through everything in their way. It's excellent. Uh, which reminds me, we need to get those skill trainers on. I think it's De Schweitzer is... Yeah, we're going to give them a medical trainer in a minute, and we're also going to give Leti one. That should hopefully bring them all the way back up to 10. Was it? Oh, wrong one. Yeah, we're going to use that now and just see what this does. I'm kind of curious to see if it'll bring 7 to 10. It brought a mining from 5 to 10, so... Yeah, all the way up to 12 surgery success chance, 114%. I'm going to call that a good investment. I'm, I'm going to call that bad. Group of mechanoids dropping right on top of us. Oh, God. In the kill box again. So right behind all our defenses. That's just... Wonderful, wonderful. Um, okay, okay, let me think, let me think. Let's be sneaky. Let's get everyone out of here. We lock all these doors, open some separate ones into here. Say open uh, ooh, this door here anyway to start. That's probably the closest one. So they decide that they want to go all the way out through the kill box and come back through here. That gives us plenty of time to come up with a plan. And if worst case scenario, we can just funnel them back into the kill box and then just kill them normally. Hopefully we can get another submachine gun by then. Our, our DPS is definitely looking up if you look across there. Unfortunately, some of those shotguns are not going to be very useful. Hmm. Let me uh, let me start get moving people out of the way. Animals are on the return. All of our colonists are confined to locations that should hopefully not interfere with this. How many is there? Eleven. That makes me nervous. If there's eleven, they might all be centipedes. If there was, you know, twenty or thirty of them, you're like, okay. It's, or, well, if there was thirty of them, you'd be like, oh, it's all scythers. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. A couple of lancers, six scythers, three pikemen. Okay, that's just concerning me now. What is going on? That just... No, we're on... Set to standard playstyle. Yep. Losing is fun, definitely. Yeah. I suppose the quests are insane, so yes, yeah, no, we're definitely on the right one. It's just this feels wrong. There's less of them than there are of us. Oh, it's a drop. Sorry, I'm losing my mind. This is a center drop. Center drops that lands on top of your base are much, much smaller than a regular one. So an edge walk-in would probably be incredibly painful. Okay, uh, you go back to work. Uh, the Schweitzer, you can go around this way. Okay, they're all going to funnel back in there. And you know what we'll do? 
we'll wait until they're all funneled back in there and then we'll go back into the kill box and then we'll wait for them. We can get some people in there with EMP grenades. We can sort some things out. Actually, who's got EMPs? And I'm going to get the rest of the team together. We've got some EMP grenades there that need to be moved over to there. All right, everybody, up and at them. Let's get in there and take care of this problem. And while we're here, let's maybe keep that door open. We want to make sure they have a clear path to our bedrooms because that's how their AI works. Now, once all of them are in position, actually, we can leave that door open. And are you going to turn around? No, nope, you're thinking about it? Come on, you know you want to. Ah, yeah, there. Some of them have already copped on. The rest will figure it out soon enough. The more spread out they are, the better, though. Let's get everyone behind the maximum amount of cover. We're going to be dealing with only a few pikemen and lancers. Most of it's going to be scythers, so it's going to be all about, well, the, how much damage we can get on them as quickly as possible. Now we get to see if our kill box actually works any good. And what are they doing? Oh, some of them have finally turned around. We even have some uh, blocker animals coming over to help out in case anyone tries to rush down our grenadier. Okay, that is actually pretty good, pretty good so far. Oh. Okay, a mech terror quest. Wow, that sounds, um, yeah, that sounds just wonderful. But hold on one minute. Let me check out Limpy here. Limpy here is the first alpaca we got to get injured. I, I renamed them Limpy so that I would know not to use them on caravans. They slow everything down. They've somehow managed to lose another hoof in the meantime. They lost another hoof the first time. Now they've lost another one and a right eye. I keep using them for all the block missions because well, they're already injured, so... Uh, let's see what this quest is. Wow, okay, so... Basically, a mechanoid hive will show up. Four centipedes, three lancers, six pikemen, three scythers, one auto-mortar, that's a huge problem, eight mech drop pod beacons, which means God knows what's in there, six mech capsules, God knows what's in there, one mech assembler, probably centipedes I'm going to say, eight mini sl slugger turrets and four auto-charge turrets. However, we do get ten troops. That's, hmm, ten troops under, placed under our control for the duration of that? <laughs> we, we may end up taking, we may end up taking that one, that just sounds too good. I mean, we could potentially do it, and wow, they are just getting slaughtered. Unfortunately, a bunch of our people are not firing because, well, they're not in range, like our shotgunners and things like that. But we'll have more, we have more and more SMGs coming online all the time. That got a little bit messy near there at the end. I, I was not expecting that Scyther to make it all the way, but I think it's time everyone went back to work. Everyone's not feeling very well, I'm going to say. A couple of people got injured, but a lot of people are around close to mental break territory just from hanging out there all day. I could probably just have sent Ortec back already. They weren't much help. But I thought stun might become in useful. All right, let's skip this forward a bit. Oh, donkey stuff. More donkeys? Hell yes. And there goes deep drilling. Our researcher's actually pretty good, i got to admit. Well, they're pretty dedicated. We've got enough people that we're, we've usually got dedicated people for everything now. Uh, ground penetrating scanner. Yes, thank you very much. That will get us steel. Or... Yeah, lots more steel. How are we looking on the steel front? Uh, the two Jasons are going... Why do we have two Jasons? Ah, wait, yeah, we've got Jason Dennis and Jason Fenn. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so we'll finish mining that out and maybe make a, uh, a few priority trips to grab some steel out of there. And now we're going to wall this in and make ourselves more food because we need more food desperately. Food-wise, we are just barely keeping ahead. If you'll notice, all the potatoes we get are sort of instantly turned into what the hell another quest why is it when i'm talking the quests show up you know quests should show up on the side when i'm not talking to you guys and then it's just uh, okay i can go through them okay well let's have a quick look at lynn's nomads oh hell yes we we have to accept this one this one is seven def seven desperate refugees are approaching there's leaders called lynn blah 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 basically some of them may stay some of them may not they may leave us a gift afterwards or they may turn against us try and betray us and then we'll have to kill them all um, yeah. <laughs> if you wish, you could choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them without diplomatic consequences. We could just arrest all seven, couldn't we? I mean, if we arrested all seven of them, we could just imprison them, recruit them, and... Oh, yeah, we have to take this. First, first we need some more beds. Uh, yeah, more beds required. Of course, before we can accept those quests, and I'm really thinking about accepting... Uh, well, we definitely got to accept Linz, and the mech terror where we get ten troopers, I'm definitely thinking about doing that one. Um, but before we do that, we have to make so many beds. I'm, I'm sticking in a bunch of beds in here, a bunch of beds in here, and we need more food because we're probably going to have to eat simple meals for a while just because we're not going to be producing enough potatoes to keep up with this. It's even, like, if this was online a week ago, maybe, but, um, yeah, we'll have to take care of some of the, ter the the quest really quick when those 10 troopers arrive because otherwise we will not be, we won't be able to feed them long term. We have just about got our second plot of farming up and running. 
Uh, that should tide us over for a little bit more food. How kind of their quest looking? Five days until we have to accept them. All right, we can do a little bit more prep work in the meantime. Uh, ooh, let me think. We're also going to want to do some expansion. Oh, and we want to accept a quest. We want to accept Pika's Yeoman Ceremony. Do we have everything prepped for that? I think we're good to go on that front. We'll bring them in now. We're going to, of course, oh, clear the enemies, map of enemies. Damn it, we have to go out and kill those bugs, don't we? How many bugs are they up to now? I was really hoping to have more insect jelly by now. 17 mega spiders, bunch of stellipedes. Yeah, okay, we'll bring them back down and clear them out. This will be two seconds. We'll just set them up at, well, this location where it seems there was possibly a bug extermination a while back. I, I can't remember anymore. I have decided we're not going to hit up the bugs just yet. We might actually be better off keeping them around. They may be able to help us with this, uh, the mech cluster we're going to be fighting. At the same time, it's time to expand our prison facilities. We've got seven, oh, well, we've got seven bedrolls in here. That will uh, take our new crowd. And then we're going to want to put seven more bedrolls in here and a table to go with it. So I'm thinking we should probably accept the, whoa, whoa, what are you guys doing? Don't roof that in, we want that area lit. They can build the roof in other areas, but not through the areas we're going to be walking. We want them to be able to walk at speed without having to put lights everywhere. At the same time, what are you doing? Ah, oh, yes, unfinished flak vest. Excellent, we finally got around to the flak vest section. I've been waiting for that for so long. We can get some decent protection on our people. I think uh, Lee, yeah, Lee's already got one. Perfect. All right, next up, I think, I think we're just about ready to hire in the first crew. We can bring the Lay's Nomads in. They're, they want to stay with us for 20 days, so we can keep them with us for a day or two. They can help construct this additional prison facility down here. Uh, once that's constructed, we can either use them in the initial fight or imprison them immediately. It depends what, what kind of quality we're looking at in terms of the, the pawns that show up. Oh, hallelujah. Ground penetrating scanner is ready. That is, that is good news. We can now start making those. Uh, that means long-range mineral scanner is up next. Now, where are we going to put that grand penetrating scanner? Probably over here somewhere. I think we're prepped. We're good to go. Everything is up and running. Oh, for the grand penetrating rad radar, we're going to have uh, Alucard take on that one. Reason being, they're the only one that has science that we're not using for something else. We need more people, desperately. Which is why we're going to take on more people. Say hello to Lynn's Nomads. Uh, let's accept possible feature rewards and visitors help. Well, whatever. Refugees arrive. Where are you? Come on. Let, let's go have a look at the newbies and see what they're like. Okay, highlights of these ones. Lynn has actually got a passion for in construction. They're the only one. None of the others have a passion in construction. I was really hoping we get another constructor here. Chemical interest, staggering ugly ugly, misandrist. Fine, undergrounder, slow learner, night owl with... Uh, social skills? Um, never mind. Uh, psychically deaf misogynist that's nimble. That one might actually come in handy. Nimble is always a good trait. We can turn them into male. Oh, can't really turn them into male, can we? Uh, we'll find a use for all them. Hard worker and tough. The hard worker and tough, of course, already has a built in drug addiction because we don't have enough people recovering from psychite addiction right now. I think there's two currently. That'll be the third. Uh, quick sleeper at night owl. Jealous. No, can't do animals. Hmm, okay, we'll have to see. Once we start, get, start uh, getting around to recruiting them, I think first thing we do is we bring them in. And then we're probably going to de-equip them? Yeah, let me think. We'll bring them in, get them some clothes on, maybe give them some basic weaponry, then we're going to summon in the mechanoids, then we're going to clear the mechanoids, and some of these may not survive, but you know what? If they don't, they don't. But we'll throw away the Empire troops first, of course. We do have a small bit of a problem here. Uh, we can't change their gear. Their gear is unchanging, so we can't give them armor, we can't really do anything with them, so they're not going to be that helpful, it seems. Well, not until we make some changes. The first changes we've done is we've uh, queued up some uh, operations on all of them. Namely, anesthetizing them. We're going to anesthetize a lot of them. And I've made all of these medical beds over here in this non-totally not suspicious looking room. We've even put a statue in for them. This place should be very impressive. This is a very impressive place with a statue and they've got piles of clothes and everything. They're going to love this place. Probably. Anyway, we're going to anesthetize them all for no apparent reason than we uh, company policy. You know, I have done several dark things in RimWorld, but this feels kind of wrong that we're just sort of wandering along and anesthetizing everyone and then we're going to imprison them, of course. Uh, how are you? You are anesthetized, sedated, who's left? Uh, so we got, one second, a couple, a couple more left. Once they're all done, we'll start the arresting process. I remember what happened when we tried to do this with the, uh, the, oh, the ancients. The moment we grabbed one, the rest turned hostile. So I want to make sure they're all anesthetized, can't cause us any problems. Only cost us one medicine apiece, and we make sure this is a seamless transition from being visitors to being 
Stockholm visitors. All right, that's seven of them all snug is a bug in a rug. And unfortunately, well, I've renamed them all just to make it less confusing. We've got number one to number seven. Uh, let's see what happens now. Rescue? No, we, we don't want to rescue. We want to arrest. Rescue? Rescue? What? What? Why is there no option to capture? We want to capture them. We don't want to rescue them. Oh. Hmm. Hopefully they'll wake up at different times and then we can arrest them as they wake up. We'll just have to, I suppose, wait here until they wake up. And as they start to wake up, their new numbers and names and lives ahead of them will become completely normal. All right, the first one has recovered. That means the next one's not far behind. Uh, okay, we're gonna get Ortec to do this. Cannot arrest no unreachable, no reachable, unreserved, enclosed prisoner marked beds in a safe temperature. That's a, it's a safe temperature in here. And this is totally for prisoners. Not for medical, only for prisoners. Okay. Okay, refugee arrest, departure, quest failed. That's fine. Uh, rescue, capture number seven. Right, capture number seven will anger the faction. That's fine. Capture number four. Oh. I think I know what's going on here. Capture. Perfect. And capture. And try to arrest. Ah, damn it. Fine, we'll do it that way. Okay, try to arrest. And all of these clubs and everything like that, they should probably be removed just in case they try to have a little bit of a flea. I think we got them all. Yep, the only ones getting away is number four, and very slowly because they've been sedated. Uh, no, don't. Don't do it that way. Bring them in here. We've already got this place. Uh, well, come on. There you go. Try to rest. How is there not enough beds? You're messing with me here. Fine. We will take the we will take number four down here. That is that is grand. We can move them over once we get in another bed. It. <laughs> we'll stick in another bed and move you back. H how do you feel about that? Excellent. This worked out perfectly. We've now got seven new prisoners to work with. Oh, this one's also the drug addict, isn't it? That's why they've got the drugs on them. Maybe we should leave them down here. That might be a better idea, considering they're probably going to have a few rage outs. Also, all the animal sleeping spots have been moved over here in case they're trying to have breaks in the middle of the night. And that's seven new columns. Where are you? What? Escorting prisoner number three. Okay. Why do you want to move them all down to the next place? I have no idea why, but... Yep, fine, fine, whatever, don't care. So long as they're all captured, it doesn't matter. All right then, that went fairly well. I think tomorrow we're going to take care of the the mech. Tomorrow we're going to have to go after the mech thing. We're going to have to jump on that though. It's got a an auto mortar. However, they will be asleep when they originally arrived. So we're going to have to get in close, kill the auto, auto mortar, and then draw the, the survivors back to our kill box. Should be not too difficult, hopefully. What did we learn from this whole debacle? Well, one, don't anesthetize all of them. Leave one of them awake, anesthetize the rest. Then, after they're unconscious, Arrest the one that's actually awake. That will turn all the rest hostile. And then you can arrest them while they're unconscious. <laughs> yep, that would have been a much smarter play. Make sure no one is over near the bugs. Perfect. Those bugs are almost up to a point where they could cause an annoyance to a mech cluster. My plan is going to be, of course, fairly dirty and filthy. That's sort of a given. Uh, we're going to also going to pick up some extra animals while we're down here. Rachel, don't get don't get shot. Just oh god damn it. I wish the hunting was a little bit smarter in this game. Uh, but I think I've got a plan on how to take out the mechanoids with hopefully the least amount of uh, complications for us. All right, we're, we're ready to accept the quest. I will admit I'm a little nervous, but I have a, a plan that we can use Alucard for. I was going to use Jason, but unfortunately they're still suffering from sensory mechanites. Those things just will not go away because, well, our medicine sucks. And uh, that means their speed is reduced. Alucard's about the same because they've got a, a stab wound, but we've given them go juice and they can take that if they need to speed up okay plan 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 let's uh let's accept this we're going to give this all to pika pika what's your your honor at 10 yeah he's going to give you another bunch you'll be up to you know what who cares it'll be a lot you'll have plenty of this stuff going around so we will accept that for oh come on pika mula freeholder perfect troopers have arrived nice now the question is Where's the mech cluster going to arrive? I really hope that the mech cluster is up here somewhere. If it's on this side, it'd be great. Much closer to the uh, insects. Where'd the... Ah, okay. 
Gen eh, not the worst. This could be worse location. Okay, okay. Slow down time a little bit to make sure this doesn't cause too much. All right, that's not so bad. Let me get to grips with this. This looks positively doable and not so bad at all. I was gonna, I was a lot more worried than I needed to be, I think. All right, well, we've got to worry about those. There's eight mech drop beacons, that'll be a problem, but I don't see anything that's going to wake them up. There's no sensors, anything like that. We could pretty much just walk up and, you know, punch them if we wanted to. We're not going to do that, of course, but we could if we wanted. I think the plan will be, we're gonna dump a couple of explosive shells that we picked up earlier. Uh, I picked those up as options. Yep, we got four explosive shells right there. A couple of explosive shells located in convenient locations around this mortar. Then infernal launcher to set fire to the surrounding brush. Let that fire spread to the mortar shells, and that should ho or that should hopefully cause the mortar to disappear. That will of course activate the mechs, but we're, we're not too worried about them activating. Yeah, give me a few minutes here to get everything set up. While we were getting our preparation on, the uh, newly arrived recruits have decided to have a social fight. So. Yeah, we don't care. We don't really need them to complete this mission anyway. We've got a donkey. We have loaded it up with some gear, namely a high explosive shell, and it is currently on its way down over to here to a nice zone to stay safe. And while that's doing that, we're going to get another donkey and load them up with a second mortar shell. The way this is done is actually pretty simple. We'll say I get Mahayam here, and we'll just go form caravan, the same thing again, grab Mahayam, yoink, grab donkey, what was it, donkey two I think was nearby? I'm going to say Donkey 2 was nearby. Yep. We'll grab Donkey 2, make sure there's no travel supplies included. We don't need any of this junk. I wish we could turn that off, to be honest. Uh, items. Then we go and grab ourselves an explosive shell. Just the one explosive shell is all we need. And I think I've passed it. There we are. One explosive shell. We'll send that on its way. And then when you zoom in here, what you'll see is... Come on. Where are you? My hand's going to go down and load up the caravan. And then once the, uh, the, the donkey's been loaded up with the mortar shell, we'll send the donkey on their way. Boom. All right, perfect. We will cancel the caravan. Then we're going to take Donkey 2 and we're going to assign them to a new zone. A zone down here adjacent to the mortar. So Donkey 2 gets assigned to Area 5. Uh, area 5 you'll see is that area right there. Area 4 is the one on the opposite side of it. So now we have two donkeys on their way over that should be carrying some nice explosives. I don't think we actually need to do this. We could get humans to do the carrying. Uh, the reason being there's actually no one around who cares. Oh, one second. I uh, just want to make sure our people don't go down there. I'm going to have to make some zones to make sure our people don't accidentally wander into range of that. All right, our first donkey has arrived. Oh, God. Is this event? I just unpaused. Yeah, someone can go fix that. It's okay. Uh, but yes, donkeys, they have arrived. One of them anyway. We can drop inventory. Ooh, nice location. I like it. Uh, you can go back to area one. That's donkey three. Yeah, this is a lot of micromanagement, but the payoffs are kind of worth it, especially when you consider how difficult it is to kill mechs. This just allows us to take care of the mortar without having to get too close. Uh, okay, you're in position and then drop your inventory. Yeah, that blast radius will still hit it. It's a two tile blast radius, so perfect. We'll send that animal back home as well. Now all we gotta do is light the fuse. Now, where did I put... One second, is that animal going back? Yeah, it is. We'll go back in a second. Where did I put Alucard? Alucard is going to be our fuse lighter, namely because they're pretty zippy and we've given them a bunch of go juice. So we'll bring them down from this angle. We want to light a fire here, but... Hmm, let's just say we want to be careful. We want to light the fire and then run away, hopefully before any fire gets near them. And hopefully no rain will kick in. But we do have time. This uh, mortar, we've got 13 days before it initiates. The only downside is we've got to deal with all of these... Uh, hungry, hungry Imperials that are going to be running around the place. That's an awful lot more mouths to feed. Though, so, oh, I hope they like potatoes. All right, cue the Mission Impossible theme song. Uh, we're about to start firing. All right, we want to launch about... We don't want to launch too close to them. If we clip them, we'll activate them. We just want to start a fire. And then once the fire is started, we want to get out of there. Nice, nice. One more, just give us one more. We want to try and get it as close to over here as possible. It's just, uh, the longer this goes on for, the more the rain's going to kick in. So we want to make sure we've got a good blaze started and that it spreads. Yep, it's already spread to this grass. I think that's, yeah, that's as good as we can hope for. Get out of here. Run, 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 leg it, leg it, leg it. Now, because once those mortar shells detonate, they're going to activate. And they do have turrets. And uh, let's show the turrets. There's that many turrets there and that many turrets there. As you can see, you do not want to be in the radius of that when that activates. So uh, let's escape. We've also made sure our animals won't enter certain areas just to make sure that they won't get uh, killed. 
Now, while that spreads, we need to go over and re-equip Alucard with something with a little bit more distance to it. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, go grab a bolty. Once you've grabbed a bolty, we're going to head you up this direction. We're going to go annoy some bugs, hopefully before it gets dark. Plan will be the mortars should hopefully detonate. Oh, wow. I forgot those are made of steel. They're going to burn as well. All right. If the mortar shells detonate, they'll take out this mortar. If the mortar's dead, we don't care what happens after that. At that point, we can introduce the bugs over here to these over here. It shouldn't be too hard. We'll just run by here and sort of drag them into the cones of fire. Alucard may not make it, but they've got go juice for that, so they'll probably make it. More than likely. Maybe. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Just spread a little bit more. Oh, and where's our other fella? Uh, you are... Not close enough yet, are you? We want to get you a little bit closer. Don't shoot, of course, but close enough that we can start uh, triggering this. We, we, the later it gets in the day, we'll start to lose light. Uh, who's a major brick wrist? I just set them to all recreation. I'm too busy to take care of that right now. Come on. <laughs> Spark it up. I want to see that... I, I want to see that mortar shell catch fire. Okay. Still, no. You, you're going to light the bush on fire. You're going to light the grass on fire, but you're not going to light the mortar shell on fire. That's... No, that's fine. That's fine. I get it. So at least the fire is spreading rapidly. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mortar shells on fire. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, problem is that explosion might put out this grass. Sort of, we want that to spread a little bit further. <laughs> We're probably also going to have to deal with a mortar shell or two. Oh. Yeah, well, that was a problem. It put out the fires on one side. Ooh, that's... That's a lot of stuff. So, 11 Lancers, 10 Scythers, 19 Pikemen, 7 Centipedes. Right, well, the bugs are not going to be able to handle this, that's for sure. But, I mean, no point not sending them in. They can do at least a little bit of damage. Uh, it'll buy us some time. Okay, you... Come on. Oh, dear lord. Come on, they're giant bugs. Just anywhere in the general vicinity is fine. <laughs> wow. Even even your misses should hit at least something, right? Uh, we'll remove all fire on you. Just uh, shoot away. All right, we've managed to catch their attention. They're inbound. Let's go. Now, we're going to have to keep a, a, an eye on Alucard's speed. They're definitely going to run out of it after a while, especially once it gets dark. At that point, we better go juice them. Uh, we better bring everyone else back inside. We have managed to get the bugs pretty close, though some of them are a bit further away. They seem to split up at the start. I think they were targeting some people in the kill box. We've moved them out of the kill box, though, so everyone's uh, inside, inside here, so they shouldn't try growing to anyone but Alucard. And hopefully the turrets in a minute. Uh, bug hive has reproduced itself. Whatever. Okay, Alucard, come on. Now. Oh, God. No, run. Just. Okay, bugs have aggroed to the mechs. That's good. Jesus. Excellent. They've all, they've all aggroed now. We're out of here. Go home, Alucard. You've done an excellent job. Yeah, this is not going to go well for the bugs, I don't think. Damn. Okay, yeah, the flames are just gonna... Well, okay, that's unfortunate, but... Ah, that mortar shell's about to get fire on it. That's brilliant. Dear Lord. Not nearly as effective as I was hoping it was going to be. I, I, I don't think even a single Scyther died. Oh, God. Well, looks like we gotta go kill that next. That's going to be interesting. Oh, and the mortar is a shell is on fire. That should explode shortly and destroy that mortar, getting rid of the larger danger that we could potentially face. Yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I was nervous about taking on this entire raid, but I thought, you know, might as well do something to keep it a bit exciting. And 
we barely made a scratch of them. Actually, that's not entirely true. That's four Scyther corpses right there, and a whole bunch of the Lancers died as well. Six Lancer corpses. Though, I checked back to the footage, it wasn't the bugs that killed them. It was everything behind them shooting through them, so they got killed by friendly fire. Uh, for example, we'll just grab that one there, and we'll check out their health. And look, gunshot from a mini slugger, heavy blaster, heavy charge blaster. They actually got just mowed down by friendly fire, which is kind of hilarious. But now I'm thinking something different right now. One, when do these Empire troops go away? I mean, do they stick around until this mech cluster is dealt with? Because if that's the case, I mean, I don't see a timer here. There's... Yeah, we accepted this 13 hours ago. They've shown up, but there's no queue on when they leave. I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy to keep them for a while. We can uh, use them. I've already set up their work schedules now, so they'll do the basics, which is basically cleaning, stone cutting, smelting, refining, uh, bit of hauling and things like that. Some of them have a, a few skills we've been able to take advantage of, but honestly, most of them are pretty trash. However, we can use them to do a massive amount of expansion. I've set up a zone to avoid this area, and I think we just we leave them alone. What we'll do is we'll finish our current research, which is going to be long range mineral scanner, and then we'll just do mortars. We'll research some mortars. Once we get mortars, we can slowly shell these out of it. Once we take care of all the turrets, they'll come after us. There's four main turrets there, and what? Eight mini sluggers. Once we take all of those, this will no longer tie these down, and then we can annoy them, and they will come chase us, and they'll go into our kill box. Right now, they're not going to bother with our kill box, but that's fine. Let's, uh, Keep our hands on all these Empire troops, 10 Empire troops, and uh, just, let's just expand. First thing in the morning, I'm thinking it's time we went and cleared out the last of those bugs. We're going to grab all the Empire troops and use them for it because they are expendable, and, well, why not? Let's hope they can actually shoot, though. That would be a good thing. Exit. We'll grab them over here and we'll clean these out. They're, they're almost completely wiped. I was tempted by the idea to maybe just uh, let a few of them live or... Well, let them live and try and rebuild, but it just seemed like an awful lot of effort. And oh my god, you're not going after the people that shut up, you're going after Rachel Matt over there. Hey, stop. Stop being annoying. Come and face our troops head on. We have finally finished off this bug quest, and that has actually given us the reward. The Vanometric Power Cell, the Skill Trainer, and something else, wherever they landed. Ah, here we go. And poof. I think we'll install that Vanometric straight away. Uh, skill Trainer Melee, yeah, that can... Uh, we'll have to find a home for that, but... Not just yet. We want to put the power cell somewhere safe where it hopefully won't end up getting destroyed. I think we stick it in a corner here and wall it in. I tend to wall these things in because otherwise something will accidentally land on them and kill them. Uh, actually, we'll leave that last segment just for now. Uh, let me go grab all this insect jelly and let's uh, see how much productive labour we can get out of these pawns before the Empire decides to recall them all. Well, expansion is going ahead much faster now that we've got so many people on our team, which is really nice. This is slowly getting planted. At the same time, we've got a social fight between number one and number two. Now let's see if number one really is number one. Oh, yeah, never mind. There was a, a request to see if we can't let them fight it out to see who becomes the winner and only hire the winners. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but it, it was a nice thought. I was going to see if they actually got into a decent fight. Oh, as well as that, we should probably do a bunch of hunting. I want to keep the fridge well stocked up. We have plenty of room now that we've stripped out a bunch of the bugs and turned it into chem fuel. I think we'll do a drafted hunt and take a whole bunch of people over there and shoot up a load of things. Actually, no, we'll let the planting finish. I want to get that planting finished as quickly as possible. More crops, the better. In fact, we're also going to wall in down here as well. In fact, what have we got all this extra labor? Wall expand and do everything we possibly can. We're going to have seven new recruits joining us in the next, what, season or so? Oh, what a day. What a lovely, lovely day. Look at all this construction. This place is just perfection. Also, we've got this construction almost complete over here, and we'll have even more crops coming in. I, I just, I really like cramming down on the food. However, we do have a minor issue. And by minor issue, I mean a big problem. This psychic droner, and the 14 centipedes surrounding it, and the two scythers, and nine lancers escorting them. Uh, we should have a mortar already. If we had a mortar already, this would not be an issue. We could just blast it away from a distance. But I didn't think to get a mortar. I really should have researched the mortar before we got here. Ugh. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's too late now. I'll switch to mortar because now I'm thinking about it, it's probably more important than getting ourselves a bunch of components, considering we do have a fair chunk of them in storage. Okay, well, 24 is not F too many, but it's enough, and we can definitely buy more locally, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world. All right, but... How are we going to tackle this problem? Because we have a psychic droner and that's going to slowly drive us insane, and it's also defended by 14 centipedes, which we can't go near without dying. So, the plan. 
Um, it's not a great one. But we're going to have to, well, as Sun Tzu said, if you can't beat them in a head-up fight, you're going to have to be sneaky bricky about it and just, like, you know, backstab them when they're not looking in the back of the face. So, when it comes to the Empire, you may notice that these troops can't be equipped. You can't change their armor or clothing. They're locked down. But you can, it seems, give them insanity lances. Maybe you can give them shock lances as well. I'm not sure. But that means we have options. Now, where is Alucard? Alucard was our more disposable pawn. We're going to get Alucard up and about. Their job is to grab that smoke launcher. They're going to help out this uh, Empire Trooper and try and make sure that they don't die or reduce the odds that they're going to die, hopefully quite substantially. Uh, they're going to come over here and we're going to go annoy some mechanoids. Well, we, not annoy them. we don't want to kill the mechanoids. What we want to do well, okay, we do want to kill the mechanoids. What we want to do, though, in this particular instance is we want to destroy the ship part. If we can destroy the ship droner, then we have a chance. If we can't destroy the ship droner, well, we're in trouble. So, let's see how this plan works out. The plan. It's, um, disturbingly simple. Alucard smokes up Pasto. Right? So, this should make Pasto very hard to hit. And that is the extent of your job done, buddy. You can, uh, go home. In fact, you can take that off and go grab yourself a heavy machine gun. Pasto, 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 you are volunteered for this because this is an incredibly dangerous mission and you probably won't survive. Now, that's a centipede. That centipede is standing really close to that ship part. If that centipede was to go berserk and all its comrades were to blow, the, blow it to pieces, they should do an awful lot of splash damage to the ship part. Hmm? Of course, they have to be awake to do it. We can't drive them insane while they're asleep. But it turns out centipedes are allergic to building. So we'll just... Yep, there we go. I just want to definitely make sure they wake up. Yep, they should definitely wake up now. And... Pesto... Pasto? Pasto, don't let us down. That... That was good. That was good indeed. Now you... Pasto, you should run. You should just start running, like, real fast. As fast as your little legs are going to carry you. Okay, run, 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 run. Number four has gone berserk. Uh, that's one of our prisoners. And the Schweitzer made sure that their berserk rampage stopped really, real quick. Wow. Like, that was, that was super fast. I mean, I just turned around and suddenly they're on the ground. Did you get off two bursts of the machine gun? No, that was actually... Oh, damn. Oh, wait, where were we? Yes, uh, over here. What's going on with this mess? All right, we're running. We're running. Oh my god, 76%. I've, I've never been rooting for a centipede to actually live longer before. Or wait, no, maybe once. Damn it, we only took it down to 69%. We need to do more damage than that. Hmm, I suppose we're going to have to go back in again. Can we get close enough? It depends where they cluster up. If we can get close enough, though, and trigger another centipede, maybe. All right, this is not incredibly risky at all. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Not rations, what are you doing? Please don't get yourself killed, not rations. That would be awkward. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think... Perfect, run. Just, just run. Uh... Covering fire. Perfect. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just destroy it. Murder your own ship. Come on, come on. No! 12%! 12%! It's fine, it's fine. We have more people. We have more people, and I need to change some zones so our animals don't do something stupid again. We have managed to rustle ourselves up another insanity lance, and it's time to go back in again. We just need to just just one more good shot. And the problem is, when we get too close, what happens is the uh, the first things to come at us. Oh, where are we gonna? No, we're gonna get you a little bit closer. First things to come at us are usually the lancers, and they're a problem because uh, the lancers have range. Oh, see that? Lancers and pikemen coming forward. Nope, nope. Abort! Abort! It's the swarm! Okay, I think what we should do is maybe send in a distraction. 
That might work. If we just send in someone to distract them first, we can... Wow, is that Scyther going to charge us all the way? You know what? That is fine. How did number four get food poisoning from potatoes? <gasps> Damn it! I forgot to change their food preferences and we ran out of simple meals. Sorry, I had them on simple meals. I didn't want to give them fine meals. I wanted to dispose of the simple meals. And yeah, okay, I'll, I'll fix that. So we're going to grab a few of the Empire troops here and just clean out these Scythers. They seem to have come forward to attack us for... Well, okay. I, I, I'd like to say no reason, but that's not really a thing. Uh, Psychite Addiction Withdrawal and Joy Fuzz. You know what? You can just get back to work. You're going to be of absolutely zero use to anyone and anything in that state. Is that triggering the others? No, it is not. Excellent. Perfect. Once this one's dead... Seriously! You walk through a whole hail of gunfire. Antonia, how you doing? You should probably go to get that attended to. All right. Alucard. Pasto. You are going to go forward. Uh, is it Nicholas? No, four two, four three. Yeah, La Fosse. La Fosse. I'm going to say La Fosse. You are going to be our designated run arounder and not die. Uh, well, okay, you might die. Your job will be to get close from this side. This should draw a bunch of them away from the ship. At which point we can run in close. Uh, you two, you can get get back to work. Right. So their job is to come in from the top, and once they get close enough, all the baddies down here should sort of gravitate towards them. The Lancers, the Scythers, those types, and the Pikemen will be out front. That will leave us an opening. An opening where we can slide in and hopefully get off another Insanity Lance on one of the centipedes. Uh, oh, we're too close already. Are we? No. They're after La France. Already? We haven't had time to set up. Okay. Charge. We need you to get to about there. We need you to get to about there to get your shot off. Okay. Okay, pesto, pesto. Ooh. Yeah, right about there would be good, and you need to get about there. Okay, not quite, not quite. Oh god, don't die. Yeah, that's good. Alright, 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 alright. You smoke there. Nice. You run. Oh man. It worked. How's Pasto doing? I mean we did her oh wow, okay, right leg, that's that's a problem. Yeah, right leg, you kinda needed that for mobility. Uh keep running, keep running. Okay, well that guy's still alive. You have time to keep running. Oh my god. Okay, now the question is, do they immediately go straight for our kill box? The answer is... Yes. Uh, pasto. Hmm. In nomine Patre, et Spiritus, et Filitus Sanctus. Amen. It was good to have you on the team, but I'm afraid uh, there is no close-by exit for you. Uh, unless we could make you lie down and pick you up. Not happening. So, Alucard... Uh, Bids you adieu. Uh, we hope you make it on your own. And you can start running towards the kill box. And we need to open that door so that we can welcome in our guests. Anyway, I am way over budget for today. I, uh, I, I, think, I think we've got this one under control. It cost us one and a half insanity lances when we could have just used a mortar. Uh, this over here is... Well, once we get some mortars, we can clear out this area. And we have plenty of troopers to take care of the problems. Oh, man. Mechanoids everywhere. And we still haven't got a chance to test out our... Ugh, our, our new sauna. Anyway, well, yeah. if anyone knows what happens with these Empire troops, I would be really curious. It's just, I don't see any way they're going to leave until the quest is complete. So theoretically, if we didn't finish the quest for a whole year, they'd still hang around. That's kind of amazing. Of course, it would be bad for any guests that visited and pirates and raiders and animals and a lot of things would have a bad time if they showed up while it was here. But, you know, maybe not the worst in the world. Anyway, so if you know any information about that, just let me know. I, uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck. Do you know something that's truly evil? You, you can go into operations and you can anesthetize the Empire troops. So in theory, what we could do is anesthetize all but one of the Empire troops, then arrest one of them, and then capture every single one of the Empire troops. That's that's ten whole people. And two of them have construction as a, as a, as a skill. 
Though, if I was going to go against the Empire, I think what I'd do is I'd get someone leveled up with them and call in a construction crew. I think the construction crew have better stats. I do need to research this, but you might be able to actually call in just a team of constructors and then arrest them. I really need to do more research on that. Room world, it's the crime that keeps on giving. I mean, gift. Gift, of course.